Yo guys, welcome back to another video here at Trader Journey on YouTube. Thanks very much for joining me on yet another video. Just before I get into this video, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, which is Trader Journey underscore official, be sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, and let's get straight into this video. So today I'm discussing my watch list and how I go about creating them, what I look for. And hopefully this will be an in-depth tutorial for anyone new to trading to begin understanding what stocks to trade and what to look for when beginning to trade so here we have a chart up here which is netflix and as you can see we have a upward trend forming on the particular stock so what i what i specifically look for as a first step for any stock i'm looking to trade i look for trends i look for um whether it's going to be an upward trend whether it's down there's usually three categories you can associate a stock price to be sort of moving in a specific manner and that's either an uptrend downtrend or it's consolidating now as you can see here with netflix this would be classified as a upward trend in the stock price and as you can see this linear line here which is in yellow is the upward trend and it is hitting consistently hitting that upward trend line this linear line and continuing to move upwards so for me that is a clear sign that this is a upward trend and now, now an upward trend would sometimes be considered something which hits a linear line two to three times and that that just proves that it is sticking to that trend line and it is consistent so you can see here that roughly three four maybe five times um the price has hit this linear upward trend so that is a very clear thing to to spot and I, I guess as you spend more screen time you'll be able to notice these particular trends a lot quicker and a lot sooner um it may take some practice to get used to it but here for instance is netflix and i want to talk you through what point of entry would we look to to enter this particular stock if it is in an upward trend now there's some specific sort of um term terminology used to describe an upward trend and this particular moves along the upward trend now as the stock price moves up the the move which is considered the upward move is considered the impulsive move now the the candle bars which sort of retrace back to the yellow linear trend line that is classed as the retracement move so you have retracement moves and you have impulsive moves now the green bars obviously there are considered the impulsive moves and the red bars that bring the price back down to reject off the trend line are known as the retracement retracement move so you can see here we've got several impulsive moves several retracement moves now for this particular stock if you're looking to trade this a key point of entry would have been this particular candle here which has a long wick which goes to show that there is a lot of buying pressure in this particular region and it rejected and bounced across you've got two sort of confirmations here one is a bounce off this price level which is 507.21 and the second confirmation you have is the rejection of the trend line and a bounce upwards and the third confirmation you have is the candle the anatomy of the candle now this specific candle i will make a separate video on candlesticks but this specific candle has a long wick towards the bottom and that is an indication that there is very good buying power here so for me at the formation of the second candle would have been my entry point and you would have rode that price all the way up to the the, the highest point of this trend this trend forming which was 54542 you would have entered roughly around 516 you would have caught a nice $24 move which is amazing so with trends i would i would definitely suggest for any beginner trader to trend um to actually trade these trends they're very easy to spot and it's very easy for you to predict the the next price move and the next move in the stock price so this is a very key way and is one of the easiest ways for anyone trying to create a watch list is go through your stocks go through the stocks which you're looking at find these trends and look to trade them against their against their retracement moves and their impulsive moves so you want to catch it at the end of the retracement move as it bounces off the trend line you want to catch the next candle before the next impulsive move now what i'd be watching for this particular stock netflix if you are looking to trade this again i wouldn't enter at any point around this area you want to see the retracement back to the trend line if it rejects cleanly like it did with this last candle with the long wick which indicates buying pressure that would be a good confirmation to enter on enter this particular trade on the next candle as it you would want to you want to make sure that it rejects the trend line because you could 
see a reversal of the trend then switching to a possible downward trend or consolidation um, so this is very easy and very easy for any beginner to pick up and it's a very um, high probability trade for anyone looking to get involved with options trading so this is this is basically the, the basics of how I create my watch list but I do go into further details but I think for the basics of options trading for anyone looking to get started this is a very easy and clean way to get started I will show you a couple more examples before I end this video here I just wanted to make it very quick and very easy for you guys to understand now in addition to upward trends and downward trends you do have um, ranges and these are sort of somewhat of consolidation so you can see here on caterpillar this stock is caterpillar you can see the stock is very choppy in this range and it seems to be consolidating in this area it likes this area buyers and sellers are fighting against this sort of price point so we are waiting for buyers to take over or sellers to pay, take over and wait for an imbalance. The imbalance of buyers and sellers will cause the price to surge in either direction. But right now, buyers are equal to sellers, so therefore the price is consolidating in this area. I hope you guys understand that concept as it is very important to understand that concept to be profitable and be successful in this strategy. So in this particular stock with Caterpillar, it does look like they've got good level of buyers at the moment based off these candlesticks anatomy. Um, so I would expect if we rise above this level, now there is a previous high, which is a good indication for your entry and stop loss area. So if the stock price was to surge outside of this range, my point of entry would be the 183.84, which is the previous high before this consolidation. And my good, my point of entry for below for puts would be something um, as conservative as 172.24 to the downside. So any break of this range is bound to cause a good, a good rejection, and it's been ranging in this sort of area for since the 4th of December for for nearly a month, guys. So you would expect a very large move to happen once it breaks out of that range. Now Caterpillar, as you can see from this chart, likes to move in uh, considerable amounts and there is decent volatility in the stock for you to trade it but uh, we are waiting for a considerable move outside of this range so like i said guys um, you want to make sure you've got a safe point of entry and what your stop loss entry would be so considering where the stock is at the moment and um, your entry point would want to be anywhere as close as possible to the 183.85 one thing to take note is guys before entering a trade you want to make sure your entry point is as close as possible to where your potential stop loss is. That will ensure that your risk is low and your reward potential is maximized. So rather than entering too late, make sure it's as close as possible to your desired entry point. And make it clear guys on your charts where your stop loss is in case the trade goes against you as um, fake outs are quite, quite consistent in this type of market, especially when you've got a lot of chop and um, a wide trading range. This trading range you can see is from 175 to 182. So a $7 trading range is bound to have some, some sort of fake outs now and again. As you can see here on the 14th of December there was a fake out, it rejected. So that is a good indication of your entry point and you should only trade this as a, cons as a uh, conservative entry point would be above 183.83. So yeah I mean these these trends are very very easy to spot anyone anyone who has even the the smallest amounts of experience should be able to see these on a chart and be able to quickly quickly chart these up and spot these trends now going back to netflix you can see that this is definitely without a doubt a upward trend and it's consistently bouncing off this linear linear trend line which is amazing and easy to spot guys so be sure to watch out for those. I'm going to give you a quick example of a downward trend. Now, downward trend, rather than the, the upward trend is bouncing off the line below the chart. Now, a downward trend would bounce above uh, a bounce below a line above it. So I'll give you an example, guys. If I was to spot a downward trend very quickly on Netflix, the downward trend line would be above the stock price. It would be above the stock price. So say, for instance, this was a downward trend, which was easily easily could have been a downward trend that you spotted and there was a there was a good breakout opportunity which then came back down into the trend 
this could have been a very good point of entry again at the break of the trend but this is just to show you guys how to draw your trend lines for downward trends you want to draw the line above the chart for upward trends you want to draw the line below the chart so i hope that makes sense so three just to sum up the video guys so three forms of trends you've got downward trends upward trends and you've got consolidation consolidation is a sort of trading range but you want to avoid trading within the range if the range is very small you want to wait for the breakout with upward trends and downward trends they're very easy to to trade you just have to wait for the bounce enter at the bounce and make sure you've got good buying power or good selling pressure if you're trading downward or upward trends and that will cause the price to re reject and bounce and give you that trading give that profit give that profit that you deserve from from spotting that move so very easy stuff guys one of the most basic strategies but this is how i go about creating my overall watch list um, these are mainly for swings because as you can see this is on the daily time frame um, if I was looking for day trades in this particular strategy, you would obviously start with the four hour, work your way down a top down approach, start with the highest frames and go down to the smaller time frames and look to see if you can spot these trends and make the, make, make the most of these sort of rejections. These retracement areas and these impulsive moves are very, very easy to understand. If anyone wants any extra tips on that, feel free to leave me some questions in the comment section below. Feel free to DM me on Instagram. Um, we have just started our Discord group, so a lot of these sort of setups and plays are gonna be signaled there. Um, so feel free to join if anyone's interested in that. We have got some classes going if anyone wants to learn or learn the basics. So. I'll leave that link in the description box below if anyone's interested in that. But this is the very easy, this is probably the first two, three steps I look to create my watch list. And I go simply go through stocks, work out what they're doing, and then decide on the next move. Right now, as I said with Netflix, this is not a good entry point because it's already extended on this trend line. You would expect a reje rejection to come at this point here of 5 or 542. Wait for the bounce of the trend line and that would be your good entry point now um that that is exactly is, is exactly what we do i'm um, just going to see if we've got any more here's here's x this is united states steel corporation as you can see this downward trend now a good thing with upward trends and downward trends just to finish off this video is that you can wait for breakouts now this downward trend seems to be ending it's hit this downward trend one two three four roughly five times and now it's found its level of support at 1588 and look at the buying pressure this is the key areas i will make a separate video on candlesticks anatomy and it's very key to understand the anatomy of candlesticks as it it makes you a better trader so i'll make a complete separate video going through each type of candlestick but this is a very good entry point and this long wick on this candlestick shows proves to me that we've got good buying pressure and as it's rejecting this trend line this downward trend line you can see that there is some buying pressure coming in here and this is the third green candle in a row since the initial breakout of the key key resistance area of 1588 and now it's found support at that level we are continuing to surge back up you could have easily easily trade this as well as a demand area if you if you wanted to and this is not going to be accurate I'm just going to make it quickly for the purposes of this video but say this was your demand area as you saw price surge it came it went through supply here this is a really good um quick trading strategy for anyone want to wanting to play this um say this was your supply zone very quick i've not looked at it as accurate as it should be but Say this was your supply zone from the top, came back down to demand. There is your extra confirmation. So you've got your trend line. You've got the break of the trend line, which shows your reversal. You've got stock prices in demand, which shows that the price will surge forward and upwards. You've got candlesticks. How many confirmations do you need to enter this trade? You've got enough confirmation to prove that that is a high probability trade. So that is a very quick and easy way to trade stocks. And obviously I've not done it in much detail, but that is as the basic form of what i look for i do do some further analysis but that will be available to my community members but this just was one i just wanted to show and add some value to you guys and show you exactly what i look for so i hope this has helped you out it's a very quick and easy way to trade these stocks if you're looking to swing but you can also spot these sort of ranges patterns on any time frame um, but obviously the bigger the time frame the bigger the move guys so i would stick to the bigger time frames if you're looking to maximize 
these bigger movements in trades. So I hope this has helped you guys and um, I will catch you all in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.